we will start off episode 20 of 5 Useful Things with the RV with a new hose carrier. I've used this Stromberg Carlson bucket here for a couple of years, but then when I went to these zero G hoses, this bucket isn't the best solution. And actually I have a hundred foot of hose in here. And you may not think you should need a hundred feet of hose, and I originally didn't. I had a 50 foot and a 25 foot piece. Last year when Gander Outdoors was going out of business in a lot of their stores, I picked up a 25 footer for about $10, I think. So I went ahead and bought another one. Well, anyway, I want to find a better way to store this. This is a Camco storage bag, and the neat thing about it is that it is a mesh on top. Looks like ballistic nylon around the side. And then you have tags for fresh water, sanitation, and electrical. And since we're using this for fresh water, we don't need the other two. So let's see if I can get 100 foot of zero G hose in this bag. Well, that's pretty nice. I was able to get the entire 100 feet into the one bag. And I have received feedback from some of my subscribers that they have found a funny taste with these zero-G hoses. All I can say is I haven't noticed that. This is supposed to be drinking water rated or drinking water safe hose. And look at that. It just cinches up really nice. And there we go. We have 100 foot of hose in this bag. This is kind of a neat little thing we found, and it's a paper towel holder. And, you know, normally you just have this thing sitting like this on your picnic table. But the way this works is there's a little bracket that fits the paper towel. It goes in like that. Now, this will not fit the jumbo rolls. And then there's a Velcro, so you can just pull it out like that. And I reused a couple of the suction cups that I previously used in the tarp project. And the uh, snap, so snap on here. And then we have paper towel. And if I want to close this or open up the refrigerator, I can just do that. So it makes a nice little storage for your paper towel. Well, it's that time of year again when I have to go up on the roof and check the caulking. And our viewers know this is a semi-annual or an annual task. And I ran across this solid work caulk gun. This isn't cheap. It's around $25. I've been buying them $8 ones at Lowe's and Home Depot. They're just cheap ones. They're frustrating. The caulking doesn't come out right. They jam. And I end up flinging the thing in the garbage can when I'm done. So I finally bought a good one. According to the reviews I read, this is the Cadillac of caulking guns. Hopefully this will work better. One thing I noticed right away though, this little uh, pin that's supposed to pierce the end of this, it really doesn't go far enough. Kind of a weird place where they put it. I mean, why didn't they put it down here? One thing I do is I put everything I take up on the roof into a bucket with a short rope on it. That way if I forget something and I have an assistant on the ground, I can lower the bucket, they can throw what I need in there, and I can haul it back up. And while it may seem hard to get excited about a caulking gun, this thing actually worked pretty good. I'm glad I bought it. I'm always looking for RV products that make things easier or store easier. You have limited room when you're in an RV, and so I ran across this broom with a dustpan made by Thetford, so it's made for RVs. But first I thought it would be really cool because I can put this in one of my small closets. One of the problems with some RV stuff, it's really made poorly. The first thing happened when I took the thing out of the box, the end cap fell off. And I've snapped it back in maybe two, three times, but it always seems to fall off. And then... This has got kind of a little cute thing here. You just turn this. You can make the broom bigger or small. And, but then the first time you start using it, that fell off. And these screws are rusted already. And when you extend this, it does extend quite a bit, but it is just wobbly as can be. So I don't know how long this is going to last. It's kind of a piece of junk. I also ran across this one. This is called Super IO, and this is not an RV style one. And the broom head doesn't fold up, but does it really need to? And this one you can see does not flex at all. Now it is just slightly longer when it's collapsed, but I still can get this into one of my small closets without any issue. So sometimes the RV stuff isn't necessarily any good.
In my five things series, I don't actually present a new idea. Sometimes I present something that a specific product has that actually works. And that's kind of the case here. We've got three drugs. The one on the left is a half gallon jug, the red one, made by Coleman. The one in the center is a one gallon jug made by Rubbermaid. And then the one on the right is a two gallon jug, also made by Coleman. All three have top spigots, where the two gallon one also has a front spigot. What we like to do is make up some instant tea and throw some ice in it and just set it on the picnic table and we can have it all day long. We also like to put the thing in the refrigerator. Now the two small ones, they will fit under the bottom shelf of my RV refrigerator. The one on the right almost fits. It's maybe a half inch too high and that could raise the bottom shelf up a little bit, but then that presents challenges of fitting other things in the refrigerator. So I'm not reviewing these jugs for their amazing ability to keep anything cool. I'm reviewing them for their ability to fit into a typical RV refrigerator. I've taken the guesswork out of which one to buy.